Is this the secret weapon to create great marketing? I've just been through a marketing system, actually a couple of them, created them out of two books. One is Copywriting Secrets and one is The $100 million Offer. Between these two books, this is the foundational pieces that get you the opportunity to have great marketing, but that is not the secret weapon. You see, all the content is there, but the actual how-to is not. It's like, hey, you need to do this and do this and do this, but how you actually go ahead and do those yeah, it can be a little bit challenging. And so those books end up as reference books. They end up as things that you have to go back to and go, okay, how do you do this again? And if you forget about where it is in the book, you've got to spend time looking for it. If you don't understand it, or perhaps even uh, the book is not written sequentially, not written in a way that it's like, okay, do this, do this, do this. Rather, they're exploring an idea and then exploring an idea. And if you combine all of those ideas, then sure, you get what is required. But often, at least for me, the capacity to hold all of these separate ideas and things to do falls away. And so things get forgotten. What's the solution? Well, still not the secret weapon, but one part of the solution is to have processes written down, to take the book and document the actual steps that need to be done. Then that gets you free of the book. It actually reduces all of the content, the ideas and the teaching and the, and the insights and the lessons down to, hey, do this and do this and do this. And the interesting thing is that once those processes are done, you can give them to somebody else and they don't have to read the book at all. They could just follow the steps, do this, do this, do this, and out will come the results that that system creates, that those processes create. So if it's not the ability to take a book and turn it into a system, and it's not the ability to organize the thoughts around, hey, what is great marketing? Then what else could be this? Well, the final thing that I want to share with you, you got a little, little visitor. Hello, visitor. How are you today? All right, the secret sauce. In the system, instead of staying with the computer, I loop into using pen and paper. What, pen and paper? You must be kidding. But yes, pen and paper is in fact the secret source. Now, I don't purely use pen and paper, but I use it for initial brainstorming, just to write out ideas, and then from there, take them back into the computer. And this allows an editing, this allows a, another pass, another improvement, and this is the secret source. You see, as you're building out your marketing and working out who it is, you will research the problems that they have. And then as you build out what problems they have, you'll begin to identify the solutions and the steps that they need. And then finally, as you generate your offer, you'll get another opportunity to review who you are serving, what their problems are, what the solution is, and what your offer is. And so by looping over and over, getting repetition and repetition, each of these reps allows an improvement of the idea. All right, that's all I've got you for you tonight. We've had a little journey. Hang on, wait, wait, don't, not yet, not yet, I'll tell you when. All right, thanks so much for joining in as we continue this journey into the power of systems to create results. I'll see you again very soon.